Hi, and welcome to our video, 0 0.9, Accuracy, Precision, and Percent Error. So, what is accuracy? Accuracy is defined as how close your results are to the desired value. Basically, how close your measured value is to the accepted value. An example of being accurate is hitting a bullseye when you're aiming for it. So the, if you have a bullseye and you're trying to hit it with something, the closer you are to the center, the more accurate you are. The further away you get, the less accurate you are. On the other hand, precision is how close your results are to one another. Because in science, you always do something more than once. Or how repeatable your results are. You know, like you flip a coin and it lands on end, well, good luck trying to do that again. It's not very repeatable. Uh, going back to our target shooting here, it's like grouping. So something that's grouped is precise. Something that is not grouped would be not precise. All right, so here we have, and this part you don't have to write down, by the way. This is just something to kind of read along and think about. Cheryl, Cynthia, Carmen, and Casey take target practice in PE class. Assuming that they were all aiming at the bullseye, match each target with a proper description. So let's see here. Accurate and precise. So we're looking for close to the bullseye and all clumped together. So here, they're all at the bullseye, all clumped together. So Carmen would be A not precise, so they're not clumped together, they're spread out, but one piece of data accurate. Well, Cynthia here had one in the bullseye, but everything else is spread out. So Cynthia would be B. Precise, but not accurate. So grouped, clumped, but not near the bullseye. Well, Cassie here, they're clumped fairly well, but none of them are near the bullseye. So that would be Cassie. Finally, neither precise nor accurate. Well, Cheryl's a hot mess. She's all over the place. Even this one came almost close, but didn't quite make the bullseye, but nothing's nearby each other. So Cheryl would be neither precise nor accurate. <clears throat> now, talking about accur accuracy and precision isn't going to be that crucial in much of what we're going to do, but it was kind of important to understand this next very important thing that we're going to need to do, which is called percent error. And percent error is the measurement of the percentage that the measured value is off from the accepted value. So the measured value is what you get when you measure something. You put it on a scale and figure out how many grams it is. You measure the length of the ruler. The measured value is what you get. The accepted value is what you should get. It's the real answer. And there's a special formula on your reference table on table T for percent error. And percent error is equal to measured value minus accepted value divided by the accepted value times 100. So let's do an example. And what I always want to do is, when I see here, right, I'll first I'll read it. In a lab experiment, you were told by your teacher that the actual or accepted amount of sugar in a can of Coke is 39 grams. You experimentally determine it to be 40 grams based on your own data and calculations. What is your percent error? So always, first thing we're going to do is write the formula. Percent error equals measured value minus accepted value divided by accepted value times 100. So my variables here, I have measured value. I have accepted value. My measured value, what I measured it to be, is 40 grams. My accepted value is 39 grams. And my percent error is what I'm trying to find. So now I'm ready to plug these in. Measured value, 40 grams. I've always had to write it with the units. Minus accepted value of 39 grams with the units, divided by my accepted value, 39 grams. And the whole thing's going to be times 100. So I can see it's going to be equal to 1 over 39 times 100. This is my grams cancel out. So I want to plug this into a calculator to get an answer. 
I get 1 divided by 39 times 100 going to be equal to 2.56 and we'll stay with that for now percent equals 2.56 percent is my percent error so write out the equation figure out my variables measured value accepted value percent error fill in what I can and plug into the equation we're going to do a whole bunch of these in class all right question time in an experiment, the gram atomic mass of magnesium was determined to be 24.7. Compared to the accepted value 24.3, what is the percent error for this determination? So you need to write out the formula. Measured value equals Sorry about that. Write out the formula. Measured value equals accepted value equals percent error equals figure out what's what plug it into the formula and get your answer and we'll see if we can get it right that brings us to the end of 0 0.9 and I'll see you guys in school